Hi guys, Mrs. Kellen here and I've got a hold of a copy of Oxenfree. So let's give this game a try. Apparently it's really spooky. I'll be the judge. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Why is he writing about cookies? Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great. But you passed. Thank you. Okay. So you all moved in? Stand up? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some guard. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a... Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. And you guys just met tonight? Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, I, um, did notice that. It's a little hush-hush. But she's dropping us off and then doing a, uh, miscount on the way back. So we can spend the night. But to be clear, you two are what to each other? I think you're overthinking it. Am I? He's my stepbrother. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. <laughs> Just happy to be on the team. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> Ugh, it's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny, that's all. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play it. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like... Why? Shouldn't we wait until we get there or at least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the Pretty words sure out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex. You brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Perfect. Can what you pull it out a second? Like out. Shift. There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. Red-headed bedwetters. And it's called Baby Carrots. Ah, that's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. I would not be surprised if there's drugs in this game. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. 
I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Yeah. Uh -huh. He looks thrilled to be here. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city oh, living. Dear. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, you know what? She doesn't smoke either, so... <laughs> okay, just checking. Alright, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Jonas, uh, come on. I vouched for you sight unseen, and you're already acting super weird. And I appreciate the voucher, I do, and I'm not trying to seem weird. I just want two minutes alone, that's it. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But yeah. since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... Well, no, it's... It's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. You see what he has to say? Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, it's questionable. Nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've uh, never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist, and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bed- Well, we didn't... We didn't actually set it up for... you. Oh, crap, that was probably... That was Michael's room, right? Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's okay, you didn't know. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. It's kinda kitschy, right? It's kinda kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Cool. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. You say so. God, this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. 102.3. 102. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Clapman. On October 28, 1943, it was sunk by the Japanese sub-chaser Tokusada, some 25 miles off the coast of Washington, and remains, to this day, the only submarine casualty in American waters. 85 officers, as well as 12 Army passengers, were lost. The propeller was recovered in 1962 and in 1965 erected as a monument to the heroism of the brave men and women who tragically perished. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, 
The USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Clapman. Okay, but I don't know. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. Do it. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Early? It's 10 o'clock. That's true. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh huh. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, it's like kid. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's okay. a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Improper acts? What does that even mean? Soaping windows? Yeah, I don't think that'll get us tossed in the stockade. No. But maybe the fact that I brought a whole crap ton of drugs will. Oh, well, yeah, that'll do it then. Oh god, of course you did. I've been looking forward to this for a really long time. Great, bad jokes, puns, you name it, we're gonna have it. And alcohol. Kids and alcohol. The word for the writing down there really sort of freaks me out already. Night. See, one said 8 p.m. It said 10 p.m. when we were on the boat. Which one is it? Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or compl. <laughs> what? What's going on? Should I be scared? Uh, I hate nature. Stupid birds with their stupid flying and pooping everywhere. Discovery cliffs. <laughs> okay. But really, just be cool, all right? This Alex? data command annex, as it had been dubbed, cool. was used during Don't the base's early years at the communication nerve center for outside military oh, installations. And, okay. Jonas, it was also the primary office of buddies. Marianne Bozek, what was the a thing civilian you said who developed Alex communications Do you have one of those vestigial tails or something? Uh, it was system, nothing, really. A type of radio frequency okay. identification, wall, standing for wave-assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. Hey, is this like a part of the base? This far out on the beach? I honestly don't know what that is. But remember, you can pull out your little radio and tune to that tour station if you want. Already did. No, I don't want to go that way. What is that way? Epiphany Fields. Sounds like a good place to go for an idea. And I thought they were bringing the puns. There you go. Over. Up. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that... Hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. 
It's a trick. Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> Her mom's getting remarried, that's all. She's getting remarried to a guy, and that's the guy's son, so... Domino effect? Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... Yeah, tough. Where is everyone else? Moody Nicole Moody. had that tennis thing. And, uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ryan invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. No, oh, great. Grumpy McGrumpy's here. Because that's what we need on this trip, is sourpuss.